Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. And before I go any further, I would love to extend an invitation to you to join us for virtual Bible study on tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. via the Facebook page for Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey, where the overseer of Faith Outreach Church Incorporated is Apostle Roma D. Allen Sr. The pastor of the local assembly in New Jersey is Pastor Dr. Lillian C. Allen, where I stand in as her assistant pastor. So I'd love for you to be our special guest once again, 7 o'clock p.m., virtual Bible study, Facebook Live via the page Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey. All right, so I want to stop by today just to give you some encouraging words to help you along your way. I think that they are always needed uh, every single day throughout the day. You know what? We need to be encouraged throughout the day. I believe wholeheartedly that, uh, number one, encourage yourself. That's right. Take the time out to encourage yourself. Do not wait on anybody else. You have heard me say this over and over and over again for the past six years as we have been together in ministry through radio. Always encourage yourself. That's right. You be the first person to pour into your life. And if you have children growing up in the home, teach them the same thing. You encourage your children. You encourage your spouse. Do not allow uh, anything from the outside. Be the first person to encourage your family. Start with yourself. I know that the Holy Spirit will lead and guide you. Remind yourself you have purpose that's right i have a purpose in this life i can confess it before i know it that's right i can call those things that be not as though they were i can confess out of my mouth i believe it in my heart i confess it out of my mouth i have purpose my life has a purpose long before i know what that purpose is i'm going to confess it and and guess what i'm going to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal unto me my purpose that's right what's my purpose Lord I'm going to encourage myself in the tough times and in the good times never stop encouraging yourself when when things seem to be going good and everything seems to be you know flowing just right all on a good path do not slack up on encouraging yourself. Look back over your journey and see where God has brought you from. Look at the progress as you have been leaning on the Lord, as you have been asking him to lead and guide you and he has released instructions through the whole, the Holy Spirit and you followed those instructions you were intent on those instructions and look what progress has been made through your faith and through your obedience you have purpose and it is time for many to start living that purpose we've put it off long enough we've listened to doubt long enough we've even begin to doubt what God has placed within us but I pray right now that your faith is turned around that's right that the spirit of doubt is uprooted destroyed from you scripture tells us to cast down thoughts and imaginations that exalt itself against the knowledge of God so if there was a, a, a thought that hits your mind that says you're not good enough, cast it down. Cast it down means to, guess what? Snatch it down. Get rid of it. Destroy that thought. 
if you are having thoughts that says I'm not I, I'm, I'm just not good enough I can't do this I don't have talent uh, I don't have knowledge I don't have wisdom cast that thought down destroy it uproot it you can call those things that be not as though they were call it forth if you need understanding in a thing call forth the understanding call forth the spirit of understanding call forth the holy spirit let him know what you need understanding in if you are lacking skills that's what he comes to do remember daniel an angel was sent daniel had a dream an angel was sent to give him an understanding of that dream also the angel Gabriel was sent he was sent to Daniel to give him skill and understanding to know what to do for what he had seen God has no respect of person there is neither male nor female there is neither Jew nor Greek what he did for them he will do the same thing for you that's what that means no respect of person so don't assume that somebody else prayed for skill and understanding for wisdom knowledge godly counsel and they received it that you can't do the same thing the word of god is open available to those who would believe and accept it that's right I'll say that again the Word of God is available to those who would believe by faith and accept it so you can take the Word of God and apply it to your life you can take the Word of God and accept and stand on those promises made Jesus Christ was given for the sins of the world. He gave his life before any of us were even thought of or created. God said he knew Isaiah before he was formed in the belly and he ordained him before he came forth out of the womb. The same applies to you and I today. And as uh, as your ambassador of Christ, I declare and I decree unto you today under the sound of my voice, no matter where you might be listening from, no matter what country you are in, you have purpose. That's right. You have purpose. And I pray right now that those who are uh, facing doubt, who are experiencing doubt, who are going through different levels of low self-esteem, and you are surrounded by all kinds of negativity, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that that spirit of doubt and negativity is uprooted from around you. I even pray that if you are blinded to negativity, if you can't see that it's negative, I pray right now that your spiritual eyes are open so that you can see the intent behind the words that have been spoken over you and to you. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will, will find out what the what the intent behind the words are and if they don't mean you any good I pray right now that those words the root of those words that they are rooted up and that they are destroyed and that they are cast back into the pits of hell from whence they come from you my brother and my sister my beloved fellow laborer in the work of the Lord have purpose and you have to tell yourself that every single day I have a purpose that's right as you are uh, making the lunch whether it's just in home for your family at the job whatever you're doing do it with purpose do it unto the glory of God do it with purpose if you are a stylist whether it's in attire 
whether it is in hair, you have a purpose. Do you not know that we come in contact with people for a reason? Our encounters are for a reason. It is your opportunity to intercede and pray for those that we come in contact with. There is a purpose in everything that we do. Don't take anything lightly. Don't take anything for granted. It's for a purpose. The encounter was for a purpose. You ever come across somebody and they're just rude? Well, our flesh, to be honest with you, might want to return the rudeness. But it is an opportunity to pray for them. We don't know what they're going through. We don't know what demonic spirit. We don't know what has control over them to cause them to be that way. So, pray you one for another that ye may be healed. Uh huh. They might be having a bad day, and you just happen to be the target of their attitude and anger, but you can't take it personal. Mm -mm. You can't, you can't take it personal. Lord, they're going through something today, and only you have real knowledge of what that is. It might, they might need deliverance in that area. We don't know. But there is a purpose. Mm -hmm. There is a purpose. If you're just tuning in, you're tuning in to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. As we are in a new day, it is May the 3rd, 2023, the day that the Lord has made. We choose to rejoice and be glad in it, thanking and praising God that his word is being fulfilled and it is being fulfilled in our lives. I honor him and I magnify his name because I want his will to transpire in my life. I want to line up my will with his will. His will is supreme. Mm -hmm. With his will, he knows what's far ahead because it's his will on earth as it is in heaven and I want to align myself up with his will and I'm reminding myself today as I am sharing with you you have purpose yes you do you have purpose and guess what charity starts at home let your purpose start at home that's where the purpose is really fulfilled in the home it starts in the home and then it sheds abroad that's right. Charity starts at home. Your purpose starts at home and then it spreads abroad. It's not the opposite. We can't think that we can do everything abroad and it's not felt at home. That's why I said at the beginning, encourage yourself, encourage your household, your spouse, your children, encourage them and don't just let the encouragement be as long as they are in the house with you let it overflow when they grow up and go to college and start careers in their in their own homes still give them that encouragement don't cut the encouragement off don't cut the encouragement off from yourself either you get up day by day throughout the day encourage yourself uh huh. And at the end of the night, I want you to review your day. What did you accomplish? Uh huh. What did you set out to do as you were guided by the Holy Spirit? And what did you actually get finished and accomplish? If you didn't get everything done, guess what? Don't beat yourself over the head about it. Don't come down so hard on yourself. If you get the opportunity to wake up the next day, work a little harder, plan a little bit better, work more strategically, but don't you dare speak negative or think negative about yourself because it will show in your actions. So start with you. Start your morning off in prayer. Mm -hmm. 
Start your morning off with giving adoration and praise unto God, honoring Him, submitting yourself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Him. If you need encouragement to get up and get going, the Lord knows all about it. Tell Him, listen, God, I need an extra push this morning. I need an extra refreshing of oil. I need an extra replenishment this morning. I need some get up and go. I need you this morning. Help me in this walk. Help me to see me as you see me. Ask him, Lord, what what are we doing today? That's right. Include yourself in his plans. You have purpose. So include yourself in the plans of God. What are we doing today? I want to know what we are doing. What's your plan for us today, Lord? What is it that you want us to see? Because see, God already sees it. He wants to reveal it to you. So we have to include ourselves in his plans. What you want me to hear today, Lord? What you want me to see? Is there anything you want me to say? Mm Mm-hmm. Encourage yourself. Because you, you have purpose. You might, you, listen, I worked at home for years. I was a housewife. That's actually why I started business, to be honest with you. I was a housewife. And I started doing things for my parents' church, which I was a church secretary. So, and, and that formulated my business. And so I still did my daily task at home. I learned to include God with it. If I was cleaning, I'm including God with it because I'm praying as I clean. I want him to open up my eyes to show me. And, and I do it till this day. When I'm doing something, when I'm cleaning, I'm not just vacuuming. I'm praying and I'm, I'm, I'm praying and asking him to remove what needs to be removed. I'm not just dusting. I'm not a surface cleaner. I like to move stuff. I like to pick stuff up and get it out of the way. I don't want to just wipe around. I want to get under some stuff. Your life has purpose. And as you're doing that in the home, you're covering your family. Mm -hmm. That's right. You are being led and guided on how to pray for your family, how to clean, how to provide, how to be the spouse that your spouse needs. You're learning how to be the parent that each one of your children needs. You have purpose. And if we can get that understanding that it starts in the home and then it spreads abroad, I believe the better off many of us would be. These things, these principles, I didn't know when I got married at the age of, I think I was 25. I didn't know these things then. I didn't know what I'm sharing with you now. I knew how to take care of a home. I knew how to do that before I went out and did anything else. I knew that. I think it was years down the line, he began to deal with me about cleaning my home spiritually. And now, you know where I am at now? Now I am praying that I am the spouse that my spouse needs that my children who are adults and I am a grandmother that I am the mother that they need in this stage in their lives so so we don't get it all at one time we we are forever learning nobody has all of the answers but our father which is in heaven and he reveals it in our lives in proportion but yes You have purpose, and it starts at home. So whenever someone encourages you and say, hey, you have a purpose upon your life, you got a call upon your life, it starts at home. Mm -hmm. It does. 
if you are called to intercede and pray, it starts at home. As we can be found to be trustworthy and faithful and obedient by God, then he will release unto us more spiritual responsibility. But he has to see that in us. He does not just release and give out more spiritual authority and responsibility to those who can't even cover the home front. He doesn't. So if you want to do more for the Lord, let it start at home. That's right. Charity starts exclusively at home. And then it spreads abroad. Do those things at home. You love to cook and bake. And it's one day going to turn into a business. Guess what? Start at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you are one that is called to clean. Start at home. Mm -hmm. how, how are we going out to assist the widow and the homeless and we can't do it at home first that's out of order if we take a look at the virtuous woman as mentioned in Proverbs 31 she was at her, her purpose started at home and then it sp spread abroad So don't take on the notion, oh, I'll get to my home later. Let me go do this. No, that's that's out of order. It starts at home. Mm -hmm. Charity starts at home. Let it begin at home. And remember this. He that started a good work in you is faithful to complete it. He's faithful to complete it. So, God, what's my purpose? I want to know. Ask. And you will receive an answer. Seek. You'll get a revelation. Stay there. Keep knocking. It'll be opened up unto you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Yes, you have purpose. And ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you. That's why it needs to start at home. Because that is the preparation process. That is the grooming area. That is the building stage. So you get that thing under perfection. At home. And then you go out. And spread it abroad. Mm -hmm. That's right. There, there, there's a, there's a way of order about the Lord that I absolutely love. There is a way of order, and He set it in place for a reason. If we take note of of, of what God did in the beginning, that that was order, and it was for an example for us to follow. Somewhere along the line, we got all haughty and high-minded and. And, and we put things out of order and we wanted God to bless it and we wanted God to approve it. But if I'm a firm believer, if I follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit, if I follow order, He's going to get all of the glory. He's going to get all of the honor. My household is not neglected in any way. I am fulfilling God's plan and His purpose for my life. Mm -hmm. It works. It does. Now, my plan of the way I do things is not going to be the next person's plan. That's something we have to come to the reality of. My plans are my plans. My purpose is my purpose. That's why I say you have a purpose. God has plans for your life. He has plans for your household. He has plans for your ministry. 
and so we should never mirror or try and copy the next person's plans but I will encourage you in this one area seek the Lord ask seek knock call upon the Lord and he will answer you mm-hmm now by faith I touch and agree with you that as you were asking and seeking and knocking concerning your purpose and how he would have you to do your purpose I pray with you in faith that your prayers are answered but you got to believe for yourself don't leave me out here just praying and you don't believe so guess what I gotta pray for your faith as well mm-hmm yes I'm praying for your faith I'm praying that as you're asking the Lord and seeking and you're continuing in prayer that you will receive a revelation so I'm praying with you I'm praying for you but I want you to pray for yourself I want you to encourage yourself I want you to remind yourself I have a purpose and it is for the kingdom of heaven I am loved I am above and not beneath I am of a royal priesthood I am of a holy nation I am called I am elect I am chosen I am by adoption a part of my Father which is in heaven through his Son Jesus Christ. I, I got a purpose and my purpose brings honor and glory to this family. I am obligated as a part of this royal family to pray ye one for another to love I have an obligation a part of my purpose is to give you words of encouragement a part of my purpose is to pray and to intercede for you we don't have to meet face to face I have an assignment to God be the glory and through this ministry of radio that's my assignment bring you words of encouragement share with you the Word of God pray for you intercede for you that is my purpose I do it verbally I do it in writing oh God but I have to let it start at home and I have to every day throughout the day encourage myself encourage my family they're grown they're on their own I have three beautiful grandchildren but I yet have to pray to say God at this stage in their life show me how to be the parent that they need mm-hmm it starts at home as he reveals to me how to give them what they need then I can also pray well God show me how to give that ministry what they need mm -hmm. I can't do this without him I don't want to try to do anything without him I want to do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me I thank him so very very much for praying to the Father to send me another comforter to send me the Holy Spirit who is going to guide me and give me all revelation of truth that's my desire today but I want you to remember as we are coming to a close for today's broadcast you have a purpose and it is time to start living it it's going to start at home ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you if you don't know your purpose ask seek knock I'm praying for you I'm praying with you I'm praying for your faith 
in Jesus name have a blessed day everyone and listen if we are allowed to by the Holy Spirit we'll be back tomorrow at 1230 blessings upon blessings